the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God and the Father, beseeching Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We be made a The Son of confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And he forgave the iniquity of my sin. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, with which I have ever offended you, and shall see deserve your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, and sincerely repent of them. And I pray that of your boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a common ordained servant of the Word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. In this bed, and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 139, verses 1 through 12. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You have me in from behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, it is high I cannot attain. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you, the night is bright as the day, the darkness is as light with you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high. And on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sits at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, on this day you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit, by the right understanding in all things, nevermore to rejoice in his holy consolation. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
The Old Testament reading for the day of Pentecost is taken from the prophet Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, beginning with the first verse. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me around among them, and behold, they were very many on the surface of the valley. Behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay some news upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a sound. Behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are clean cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves, and raise you up from your graves, O my people. And I will bring you into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. And you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is taken from the book of Acts, in the second chapter, beginning with the first verse. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. Suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind. They filled the entire house where they were sitting. The divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in his own native language, Parthians and Medes and Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belong to Cyrene, the visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. And they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others mocking said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, lifted up his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and give ear to my words, for these men are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. For this is what was uttered to the prophet Joel, and in the last days it shall be, declares God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for me. Alleluia. 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 The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 15th and 16th chapters. Alleluia. 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 Jesus said, When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father. He will bear witness about me, and you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. 
did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. Now I am going to him who sent me. None of you ask me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me no longer. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot hear them right now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. He will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, and then for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again in glory, to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I invite you to turn to our hymn of the day, hymn number 497. You can see 
night and five. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, holy fire, come free true. Grant us the will of the Lord to do. And in your service to abide. Our trials turn us not to die. Lord, by your power, prepare these parts, and strengthen our weakest strength and heart, that bravely here we may contend, through life and death to you, our Lord, ascend. Alleluia, Alleluia. Home delivery, that's what it was to each and every one of us who were brought to the font. 
the fullness of all that Christ won for us was delivered to us. Nothing went to the wrong address. Nothing got lost or damaged. No porch pirate stole any of it. The fullness of Jesus was given to each of you. And yet how hard it can be at times to believe in and live in this truth when we look to ourselves and what we think, say, and do instead of looking to what the Spirit has said and done. In this joyful day of Pentecost, the Lord wants to ground and enrich you in the truth of the Spirit's work. Even as that Spirit is truly at work in the Word, the Lord sends to you to teach you about Him. He is at work in this very moment, in this very Word, to pass through your ears, into your hearts, to comfort and strengthen them, and what He has done, is doing, and will do for you. You cannot by your own reason or strength believe in Jesus Christ or come to Him, but the Holy Spirit has, is, and will call you by the Gospel, enlighten you with His gifts, sanctify and keep you in the true faith. What the Father wanted to give to you, and what the Son concerned for you, the Spirit will deliver to you both. This is our only hope and security when it comes to life of faith. None of it rests on us. None of it remains in our hands. God does it all. Yes, God is being the full service home delivered. Any doubt about that is put to rest here at the altar, beloved, with the Spirit-filled words, This is my body, and this is my blood. Take and eat and drink. The gift of the Father, one for you by His Son, delivered to your ears, lips, and heart by the Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit always has and always will do the person to person home delivery, even in a post pandemic world when we will all return to our self service ways. And that, beloved, is something for poor sinners like you and me to rejoice in. Give thanks and praise to God for this day. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, your hearts and your minds, in Christ Jesus, the life everlasting. We continue with praying God for your peace. Yeah, work through God's work to declare His son. 
which things to them, that they may know the consolation of the gospel in their trials, be granted health and healing in accord with his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, mercy. For all the weak in body, body and drink the blood of Christ today, in this other worldly gift they would receive his eternal peace, to have hearts untroubled and unafraid in this sinful world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, mercy. In hands, your Father, we commend all for which we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is surely good right inside you. We should at all times and all places give thanks to you. Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who ascended above the heavens and sitting at your right hand, poured out on this day the promised Holy Spirit on his chosen disciples. For all this the whole earth rejoices with exceeding joy. Therefore, with angels and archangels, to all the company of heaven, we bow and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Peace and glory be with you all. Thank you. 
thanks to Almighty God that you refreshed us through the side of Jericho. And we implore you that it be mercy and strengthen us through the same, the faith toward you and the fervent love for one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Bless me, the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.